Hello, Wasra here, back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at brawlers and how to best use them. As there are 13 brawlers in total, if I included them all in one video, it would make it very difficult to go in depth enough on each brawler, so instead it's going to be split up into three parts. The first part with the artisan skills, which is the video you're watching. The next video will have the gathering skills, and the third part will have the support and combat skills. Before we get into the individual brawlers, let's look at some important thing to know about them. They are always lost on death, so if you get PK'd by someone in the wilderness, they're gone and you lose all the extra XP. The 4 times XP stacks with everything, so stuff like Incense Sticks, Wisdom Aura, Pantheon Aura, or Premier Artifact should be used while using brawlers, and make sure to max out your XP gain with like outfits and all those sort of XP boosts which can get multiplied by 4. If you use it outside of the wilderness, it's just 1.5 times. So if we're using it outside of the wilderness, we're going to try to focus on very high XP drops instead of just using them. Most of them degrade on a per XP basis, so you want to maximize the XP drop you're getting, so you maximize the experience you're getting per brawler. With us focusing on the artisan skills, that leaves us with 3 to go over today. Cooking, fire making, and smithing. And let's start with cooking. Cooking is a skill that can be frustrating to train with brawlers due to the fact that we lose access to the cooking gauntlets, meaning that we burn a ton more fish. We'll be training cooking at the Mage Bank. The quickest way to get there is to go to the Edgeville Lodestone, take the lever to the Deep Wilderness, and walk northwest to the Mage Bank. Once you're there, you can gear up. In terms of gear slash inventory, uh, put on four pieces of the sous chef outfit. You can't wear the gloves because you have the brawlers. An inventory full of raw fish except for space for urns, torso sticks, and a portable range. Teleport outside the wildy by clicking on the lever and place down your portable forge and cook away. If you are 99 cooking, make sure you put on the cooking cape as it stops you from burning the fish. Also make sure you're using the highest level of fish you can cook as that maximizes your XP drop even though you might burn more. Once you are done, teleport back inside using the lever and reload your preset to do it again for another inventory. Cooking brawlers last for 1,188 successful cooks, so come prepared with that amount of raw food or more if you don't have 99 cooking and you're going to burn some. If you are using sailfish, you can expect about 1,600 XP per cooked fish, leading to 1.9 mil XP total from using them. Fire making is a little more complex, but boy is it worth it. We won't be using the mage bank for this one as we have a way to use the entire brawler without banking. Thank you, Protean Logs. Combining that with the pitch can, it can lead to some absolutely glorious XP rates. In order to do this method, you need to turn on one button gameplay. It can be found under the location, settings, interfaces, game interaction, and it's the fourth option. What one button gameplay does is that it makes every click a right click regardless of which one you click. This makes it very easy to right click and then left click something as you can just double click. This needs to be done because the first option on action bar is craft when dealing with logs and we need to be able to click on light. You don't necessarily need one button gameplay if you're dexterous enough to go left click, right click, left click, right click continuously, but I know I'm not so I would just suggest turning on one button gameplay and then when you're done just turn it off. You can buy a pitch can off the G, and what it does is it lets you light fires in one tick instead of the four ticks it normally takes. This makes line fire making a viable way to gain fire making XP, albeit it's not AFK and it costs considerably more than just AFKing at a bonfire. To actually use the pitch can, have it in your inventory and click on the action bar every tick. This is a bit of a learned rhythm, but once you get it down, you'll be dropping logs constantly, and it's so satisfying seeing your character just like walk along and there's fires behind you. It's it's tough to explain, but it's just it's really satisfying. The only other thing to know is that you want to have Tinker 4 on your tinderbox as that will give you 25% more XP when the ability procs and that procs 20% of the time. So it's essentially about a 5% increase and if it's level 20, it's a 22% chance to proc. So if you can get a level 20 tinderbox, go ahead and do that. And make sure to have the Ring of Fire equipped as that's 2.5% more XP too. Teleport to the Wildy Lodestone and take the Obelisk to the northeast of the Wilderness. There's a long stretch along the north side of the Wilderness Wall that allows you to go mostly interrupted from side to side. If anything gets in your way, just walk around it, and once you reach the end, go through the gate, run south, hop in the Obelisk, and teleport back to the northeast by Chaos Elemental, 
rinse repeat until the brawlers are done. The fire making brawlers last for 1200 uses and you should get about 5 to 6k per protean log used, meaning you're going to get about 6 to 7 mil total XP from these brawlers. Did I mention that it only takes about 15 minutes to use them? The pitch can lasts for 2000 total charges and can't be sold till it's used up, so you can either train regularly with it in the desert or Perfdinus, which have long stretches of east to west movement, or you can wait until you get a, another brawler to use and have that pitch can stored up. Smithing is probably one of the most annoying skills to train with brawlers, and that's because burial armor needs to be made in Artisan's Workshop at the Burial Forges, so we can't take advantage of the massive XP drops here, so that leaves us with Dragonfire Shields only. Each one gives 2000 base experience, meaning that across the 434 uses, we would gain about 4 to 5 mil XP total, but it's just a pain to bank it. First off, it takes over 500 mil to bank the visages, as each one costs just under 1.2 mil each. Next, it takes 44 buy limits to be able to buy the visages, and then you need to get 434 anti-fire shields. Luckily, those have a buy limit of 100, so it's not as bad, but all in all, a major pain. The location where we're going to be making the visages are the anvil just west of Magebank. You're kind of out in the open here as anyone traveling to Magebank can see you here and potentially kill you. Grab 14 of them at a time, 14 visages and 14 anti-fire shields, and make them at that anvil. Each one should give you about 10,000 XP. Once you're done making the visages, you can head back inside Magebank and alk all of them for 1.2 mil each. There is a warning each time you try to alk it because it's a high value item, so you just have to kind of click through that each time. Overall, this is a brawler that will probably stick in the bank for quite a while till you're in a position to best use it, whether that means putting away the 500 mil to the visages, doing like 10 or 20 a day, something like that where you don't necessarily um, have to have 500 mil committed to that one item. That's going to do it for the first video in the brawler series. There's going to be a total of three videos as mentioned at the start and the next one is going to be gatherer skills which I anticipate is going to come on I would say Tuesday or Wednesday of next week as I have one other video that I'm going to release in between. But if you like the video, uh, consider dropping a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the methods or other methods that you're going to be using for brawlers and subscribe if you want to get notified when I drop a video. Pass that, have a good day, and I'll catch you in the next one.